Okay, pre-algebra. 2-1, or excuse me, 2-2, adding integers. 2-3, subtracting integers. Obviously, 2-4, we're going to go into multiplying integers. One of the things we need to focus on here is the rules for multiplication. Okay, so I'm going to put over here in the corner box my representation of the rules. If I multiply, yikes, let's go back on that one a little bit. If I multiply, really? I've been working with the pen, it has been working, and now it wants to be crazy. Let's come over here and see if I can do it over here. If I'm going to multiply a positive times a positive, my answer is going to equal a positive. If I multiply a negative times a negative, my answer is also going to be positive. So notice they have the same sign, they always end up positive. You can look at this um, if I have a positive times a negative. Those are not the same sign. So what's my answer going to be? My answer is going to be negative. And vice versa, if I have a negative times a positive, my answer will still be a negative because the terms are not the same. So let's look at some examples. Um, let's just go through some real quick. Those three right there. Let's just multiply the numbers and get the number parts. 4 times 10 is going to give me 40. I think everybody would agree with that. One. Now, what's a negative times a positive? If I go over to my left and I see negative times a positive, that tells me that my answer has to be negative 40. Let's look at the next one. 3 times negative 8. Again, let's just take the numbers. 3 times 8 is 24. And a positive times a negative is a negative. And let's look at the last one. 4 times 7 is 28. And a negative times a negative equals a positive. Okay. How about some uh, how about some expressions? Let's go negative four times two x. How about negative eight z times negative three? How about those three? Let's look at the first one. Can we multiply terms that are not like? And the answer to that question is yes. Again, let's ignore the negatives and positives. 4 times 2x is going to give me 8x. And then what is a negative times a positive? Negative times a positive is a negative, which gives me an answer of negative 8x. Down to the next one, what's 8 times 3? 8 times 3 is 24. So what's 8 times 3z? That's going to be 24z. And what's negative times a negative? Negative times a negative is positive. So you can put the plus out in front of the 24, or you can just leave it 24z. Down to the next one. 9 times 7y is going to be 63y, because it is. <laughs> little, boom, shh, little math humor. Okay, let's move on. And what's negative times a positive? That's going to give me a negative 
63y. Okay. Let's see. You might have how about something like this. Something like that. Again, you can multiply anything. So let's just multiply the numbers. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. What would x times y be? Since they're not the same, we just need to make it xy. You could put yx, go in alphabetical order. And now let's look at the signs. Negative times a negative is a positive. And a positive times a positive just gives me positive 40 y. Let's do another one of those. Multiply the numbers. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 3 is going to give me 36. Go ahead and look at the variables. I've got that xy again, so that's just going to be xy. And then I have um, a positive times a negative. That gives me a negative. And a negative times a negative gives me a positive. So I end up with positive 36y. You might see, let's do one more, and then I'm going to give the lesson to you. You might see some substitution where they might have, um, what is 10x minus 4? And off here they tell you that x is negative 5. So they're going to think that we've already done. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to replace it with negative 5. So this is going to be 10 times negative 5. You could just put the dot 5. It, either way, this is just my preference. <clears throat> 10 times negative 5 is going to be negative 50. And then I'm going to subtract 4. Now, they're wanting us to remember back to our subtraction from the lesson before. This is my double loser effect. If I lose 50 and I lose four, let's say it's money, I lose fifty dollars, and then I lose four dollars, then I've lost fifty-four total dollars, and I need to start mowing some lawns, because I gotta make that up. That's the lesson, it is yours. We will see you tomorrow.